MCDHH Budget and Transition Update, Fiscal Year 19. Hello, I have news from MCDHH. Two things. First, our budget, and second, our transition plan. We have now entered into a new fiscal year, 2019. The governor has signed the budget. Our funding going forward is 5.7 million. And the good news is there's an additional $100,000 that has been added to our revenue. This means we will be able to contract with additional interpreters and increase options for communication access. Thank you to all those who advocated and were actively involved in the development of the budget process this year. Second is our transition plan. Since 2002, I have worked closely as the commissioner with wonderful staff members at MCDHH. Multiple state agencies, many community members, the statewide advisory council, and multiple service providers. We have worked together to expand accessibility, expand available programs and services, and develop new and innovative programs and services. Now this coming year, January 4th, 2019, I will be retiring. Between now and January 4th, I'll be working closely with the Secretary of the Executive Office of Health and Human Services, Mary Lou Setters. Working closely in planning the process for the search and then appointment of the next commissioner who will lead MCDHH. The commissioner is responsible for the executive administration and oversight of MCDHH's programs and services. The commissioner reports directly to Secretary Setters. The process of searching for the commissioner involves seeking a candidate who meets specific qualifications. The announcement has been posted, but I will summarize. We are seeking a commissioner who has intensive experience with the administration and operations of an agency, plus has experience in providing services specifically to deaf and hard of hearing individuals. In addition, we must adhere to the Massachusetts state law requiring the individual be fluent in sign language. Plus, every effort will be made to appoint a commissioner who is deaf or hard of hearing. The commission has a strong foundation of programs and services that will continue going forward. We are strong and ready to provide services moving forward. The next commissioner will be responsible for the continuation of those programs and services in adherence to state law. Our programs and services include interpreter and cart referral, case management and social services, communication access and technology training, contracting with deaf and hard of hearing independent living services, and special projects like working to support victims of crime. The next commissioner will have very specific and well-defined responsibilities. Managing and operating all of the programs and services. Leading the agency in its strategic plan. Working closely with stakeholders. Identifying community and service needs. And working to develop services within the state budget. The commissioner will also be involved with and must think about the potential involvement of working with many organizations, groups, and individuals, all focusing on the improvement of communication access adhering to MCDHH's mission. The qualified individual will have experience in supervision, working closely with the agency, and following through with the goals. Developing and implementing new and necessary programs and services and experience in a broad range of services 
all to support deaf and hard of hearing individuals. Looking forward, any individuals interested in applying for the position can contact the Executive Office of Health and Human Services directly. The contact person's name and address is provided. Teresa Reynolds, Executive Assistant to Secretary Mary Lou Sutters, Executive Office of Health and Human Services, 1 Ashburton Place, 11th Floor, Room 1109, Boston, Massachusetts, 02108, 617-573-1762, Fax 617-573-1890, Teresa.Reynolds at massmail.state.ma.us. While we prepare for the transition in January, I want to thank MCDHH's staff for their statewide work. Their multiple skills, experience, linguistic and cultural expertise, and their many partnerships throughout the state. I also want to thank the multiple state agencies who partnered with us through formal agreements to collaboratively work together in planning new services when necessary and supporting those new services. I want to thank the Statewide Advisory Council for their expertise, the perspectives they've shared, and their ongoing enthusiasm in working with us. I want to thank the community for working closely with us advocating, providing input, planning for, and sharing their perspectives with us on necessary services to ensure the continuation of access. I want to thank Secretary Sutters, the Executive Office of Health and Human Services, and Governor Baker for the privilege of serving Massachusetts through the Commission for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. Thank you for your ongoing partnership in working closely with us. I look forward to keeping you informed as we progress through this time of transition. The Secretary of Health and Human Services is seeking a qualified candidate for the appointment to serve as Commissioner of the Massachusetts Commission for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing, MCDHH. The Commissioner is the Executive and Administrative Head of MCDHH on behalf of deaf and hard of hearing persons. A successful commissioner will be a thoughtful leader, skilled communicator, a change agent to continue the work of the agency in accordance to the statutory mission and the responsibility for administration and oversight of the annual budget of $5.7 million. The commissioner reports directly to the Secretary of Health and Human Services. The primary responsibility of the commissioner is to provide effective strategic leadership in the design implementation and management of the Commission for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing services and programs, including but not limited to interpreter and CART referral, communication access training, and technology services, case management and social services, independent living services, and special projects in accordance with interagency collaboration, interdepartmental agreements, and grants. The Commissioner is responsible for overall development an exercise of an efficient system for planning, program development, and implementation, budget, accountability, coordination, monitoring, and evaluation to ensure that all program policy and program development processes function effectively. These responsibilities include identifying priorities for the commissioning of services with key stakeholders and developing programs to be implemented with available fiscal resources. The Commission's overall mission is to advocate for the dignity and independence of deaf and hard of hearing individuals by providing leadership, information, and expertise to ensure a range of quality services and a continuum of choices. A qualified candidate will have professional, administrative, and supervisory or management experience in which major duties include implementing and overseeing agency policy and program development and implementation processes, experience in and broad knowledge of services and programs for deaf, late deafened, and hard of hearing persons is required, 
as a statutory requirement, fluency in sign language is required, and every effort will be made to identify and appoint a deaf or hard of hearing commissioner. Letters of interest and resumes may be sent to Teresa Reynolds, Executive Assistant to Secretary Mary Lou Sutters, Executive Office of Health and Human Services, 1 Ashburton Place, 11th Floor, Room 1109, Boston, Massachusetts, 02108, phone number 617-573-1762, fax 617-573-1890, teresa.reynolds at massmail.state.ma.us.